Welcome one, welcome all to the Multicultural Misfits Podcast. It's your host, Audio AB. And next to me on the couch, I have my wonderful co-host. It's your boy, Omar. And next to him, I have my wonderful executive producer and co-host. Jordan. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 oh, the queen. Yeah. R.I.P. the queen. Her Long live the queen. <laughs> Long live the queen. The <laughs> queen is dead. <laughs> you know what's sad? I really thought she was singing like a Star Wars song for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Wait, Darth, no, no, that's Darth Vader was about to come out. Yeah. But her ass is dead. <laughs> Man, fuck her. And yeah, fuck Brown, yeah, fuck her, dude. Is, isn't it funny seeing all the like, like how we deal with... With people dying in the modern day is like we just make memes and shit. It's hilarious. It's though. all jokes. Yeah, right? but she was an easy one because not it was a layup. She's old and she's British from an American's perspective. <laughs> yeah, but she was a real bitch. <laughs> Yo, I love so much that we're starting with this off the top. <laughs> yeah. I love this so much. Immediate insults. Yo, she had Princess Diana killed. Yeah, I don't dude. give a fuck. It don't I, even I, matter if she did that, man. Fuck her in general. What's the, what's the story of that they died in a tunnel while she was with an Egyptian prince and she was with this dude that she was seeing. Um. So apparently, listen to this. She died in 1996. A year before she died, she wrote a letter to a friend. And the letter in her handwriting says, I fear that my husband Charles is going to have me killed in a car crash. Yeah. He was they're old as shit. They're going to cut my brakes, and he wants to bang this random chick or whatever. And he wants to get with this random chick. Fucking, she dies. He gets with another chick, but still, that's beside the point. Mm-hmm. I mean... It's pretty obvious. I mean, who fucking... And it's, like, suspicious, like, at the car scene. There w- there wasn't really, like, a lot of, uh, like, photos and shit taken. It's just weird. It was a weird circumstance. In yeah. a tunnel, too? Yes, and there's no camera footage, no nothing. It's a great place to do it. It's like a Batman Absolutely. Going, dude. Took him <laughs> out, like a Batman movie. Took him out in the tunnel and it's murdered like, him right there. It's like the beginning of a Batman movie, and then Batman goes to investigate why the fuck they died. Yeah, and there's, like, a huge car pile up and shit, and they're fucking a bunch of traffic <laughs> and stuff. Yeah. What if it was just, like, an all, like, an accident? I mean, the fact that she wrote someone, I think it was her butler, the fact that she wrote someone, yeah. that someone was going to kill her, and then she dies a year later, and she wrote from the in a car accident? Exact way she was going to die in yeah. a car accident. That's sure. kind of... What happened, though? Okay, your your brakes are cut. Just slow it down. <laughs> what, did nah, they hit 90 I, and turn the wheel? They were coming, like, the tunnel had, like, a turn or something in it, or some shit like that. Oh, that's a great place to kill somebody. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, that's a good that's one. That's how you do it. Uh, whatever her name was. That's, a, bet, that's, a, that's a top-tier kill right there. That's a top-tier kill. Yeah, but, that's you know, a clever one. From what I know about the fucking English royal family, they're fucking pieces of shit. You know, they, yeah, they sweep yeah. shit under the rug. That one dude is fuck, fucking underage chicks. Um, I mean, they've done a lot of shady shit. You know, so fuck the queen. Bro, fuck and that queen. man is now king. Who, the dude who uh, got his wife killed? Yeah. Princess Diana killed? Yeah. He's now the king. Oh, the that king was the ex-husband of Princess Diana? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And king they all Charles. look like they're dying, bro. They're just, what's the point? Bro, he looks older than his mom. Go to the yeah, middle-aged heir, bro. Stop. <laughs> you know? like Go, they go ahead and skip him. Yeah, go ahead and skip him. Like, you know what's crazy? It's like they go by, like, firstborns. So even yeah. if... Say if the the king dies right now, like it wouldn't go. It will go to their son, and then after that, it will go to his son. Like it wouldn't go to his brother or nothing like that. Oh, so he just snagged the whole. Wait, no, it wouldn't go to his brother. No, it will go to his son. So they wouldn't do some Game of Thrones shit. Nah, bro. That's why he he married a black lady and went to Canada. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, I think he renounced his. Even even if it wouldn't matter either way, either he renounced his shit whenever um. Him and the wife left the family. Yeah. He was like, I ain't about it. Uh, I don't fuck with this family anymore. They're trying to say, because they were trying to say his baby was too dark and shit. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's it crazy. I, uh, I, I'm not caught up with that shit. So they're still living in Canada. Nothing changed. I think they, they, nah, they live in LA now. They didn't make amends. They could be in LA. But not, no, they, nothing changed. Damn, they're living in LA. <laughs> it's still beef. <laughs> yeah, that's a it's movie. Still beef, but he went to the funeral or processions for the funeral. I think yeah. the funeral's coming up soon. Yeah, he's got to. In all honesty, man, who gives a shit? I know, nah, man. I don't even I think low key, I think English people don't even give a fuck, except they for like really the don't. older ones. No, some oh. of them do, bro. I, I saw a video. He was an older guy, but he mm. was like sobbing in the street. <laughs> the queen yeah. is dead. And there was dead. like there was like three people like <laughs> consoling him, and he was like sobbing in the streets, like loud. Yeah, I will <laughs> say like for a lot of soccer games over there, they do like a uh, a minute of silence or whatever the fuck, and like somebody will try to scream something, they'll be like, "Shut the fuck up." Shut the fuck up for the queen, yeah? Respect the queen, yeah? <laughs> so they, they do give a shit a little bit. But I was talking to my mom, and she was like, oh, my God, the queen died. I was like, what the fuck they got to do with you? Nah, remember the wedding, bro? People were fucking waking up at 5 a.m. or whatever to watch that wedding. People care about the royal. Like, they're, but at this point, they're just so, like, no one gives a shit about them. They don't actually even have that much power. They do have some power. 
I mean, they do, but like the prime minister is really the one who decides everything. Yeah, but they they leeches. can influence some shit. But but they just have like stupid money. Like they, they just have, have they incredible, have incredible yeah, amounts they have of money. Insane amounts of money. Yeah, man. I wonder if we were to live in the UK, if we would like her. You know, like they don't like her. I wonder if they don't. But some. Well, you think like the, none of the younger people really like her? You don't think she's like a like a fun mascot? You know, I, 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 <laughs> a mascot. You know, like you're just rooting for her. <laughs> like you know, like Betty White. It's like I don't know too much of Betty White's work, but I fuck with Betty White. <laughs> I feel like the people or our dude. age that are like us over there, they don't like her. Like, they don't give a fuck about her. Yeah, man. They'll be like, oh, the queen died. Oh, you know, damn. that's a good thing. I mean, you know, if we have any English listeners over here. Please let us know. I mean, I'd be curious to know what people like our age in the UK think about the Queen. Yeah, yeah me too, man. Because I mean, I, I I don't really care that much. Exactly. I've been seeing so many <laughs> funny memes about her though. There's like one with Kobe like crossing her up. Yeah. And I was like, bro, she ain't going to heaven. Get the fuck out. Of here. She ain't going to <laughs> she ain't going to heaven yeah, with sure. Kobe. Heaven. I will say, the I do go straight to hell. I have some African homies, and they was laughing it up on the timeline, bro. They was having a great time. Yeah. They was like, thank God this bitch is dead. Thank God no, this fucking bitch queen is dead. There's a few countries I'm sure that were rooting for her downfall. Oh, hey, Jamaica? Bro, Jamaica was dancing. Bro, what a funny day it must have been in Jamaica. They was having a blast, <laughs> they bro. They found out the queen died, you know? They was having a good time. Because we don't care. Yeah. They're like on the opposite side. They don't even like her. Yeah, because yeah. they were they got, they got were colonized by the By them. Yeah. yeah. So to see your colonizer die... I'm not, you know, she's not the one, I, but like it, it's, it's she's like symbol. the face of it. It's a symbol, yeah. In I a think way. she's still like on their money. She's still on a lot of currencies. What did mm-hmm. that bitch do? She's on their money. Wow. What did that bitch do? <laughs> she didn't do anything, man. If anything, her dad did all this shit. He's the one who helped guide them through World War II. But I mean, after that, what did she do? It's why why what modern royalty is kind of stupid because what are they really doing? Exactly. Like Nothing. maybe their ancestor did, like their parents' parents or their parents and shit. But you know, not that it was anything good that they were doing anyways. No, it wasn't. But whatever, like, prosper that they did bring to the country, they didn't really have anything to do with it. They were probably just rich kids that were just chilling. And then, you know, their dad dies eventually. Now they're like, all right, now I'm fucking Which is why Americans, queen. That's why Americans fuck with them more than, like, the British people do. Because they're just rich kids. Yeah. That's all they were. And Americans are like, man, shit, I wish I was a rich kid like that. The Ameri- British people don't give a fuck about oh, wealth like that. Americans like the glamorous shit, man. Hell yeah. yeah. They like the glamorous shit and the tabloids and all that shit. So I like these reality shows, bro. They're yeah, all just man. set in really nice fucking little mansions and lofts and all these nice things and shit. That's, That's all like it is, see. bro. We like to see just nice pics of people on vacation and stuff. <laughs> Speaking of people fucking biting the dust, did you guys hear about that one rapper... P and what's his name? P and B, P and B rock, P and P B and J. P B and J. No, did you hear about the peanut butter jelly rapper? Because I think he was a good guy. (laughs) Did you hear about this peanut butter and jelly rapper who died because I didn't like him? I I never even heard. He tried to jump. No, he did participate in the jumping of Lil B. So I didn't like him. Not Lil B. Yes. Are you kidding me, bro? Lil yeah, B's a, a friend of all. I loved Lil B. Damn, dude. Except, so he's he, the, he is a little freaky man, though. I ain't gonna lie. But we'll talk about that after. So this, this guy freaky, died. The toes, the feet yeah, that, yeah. To my understanding, he was with this chick, and she posted that they were at a certain restaurant, and people pulled up. Mm-hmm. And they tried to rob him. How does that happen? How do they fucking rob someone and shoot him? It's like... I don't know. Apparently, she took out a life insurance policy on his ass pretty recently, too. You're I don't kidding. know. No, that didn't that's, happen. That's, that's, that's oh, social that didn't happen. We're not turn. doing that I, here. I'm not believing that 100%. I'm just saying that's social media rumors. I'm just saying. I will say, one, I have been to that Roscoe's. And when I went to that Roscoe's, that motherfucker is dangerous. And it's in the scary-ass area. For real? It feels yeah. ghetto? Yes. Not feels ghetto. That motherfucker. You are in <laughs> the <laughs> ghetto. It is ghetto. You're in there. You it's are like in the ghetto. It's a restaurant where there's all windows around. Yeah. Like and a, right in there. And Obama's been there. Like a bunch of famous people have been there, but that motherfucker is scary. Now, just see the video. It's it's sad, bro. Yeah, that's some There's sad a shit. Video? Yeah. Not of him getting Jesus. shot, but like of him like on the ground. Yeah, he's no, just like on I the haven't. ground. Like people don't know what to do. It's like a like a yeah. short clip, and he's just bleeding out. Oh my god! How much dramatic but usually, I will say people like in the area respect Roscoe so much that they don't run in there and shoot people. They wait for you to like leave or something. Well, they so they really did there. not like him. Yeah, man. Or what they really he, wanted to get something off him. To get people to hate him. I mean, what was he? Nah, it was a robbery, dude. Yeah, it was a robbery. Oh, it was a robbery. I mean, I'm, I'm sure as a rapper, bro, you have to have stuff on you because rappers are stupid nowadays yeah. and they just yeah. And L. A. is burning ten grand on him and shit. L. A. Yeah. is so people probably fire. thought it was just a quick come up. Yeah, yeah. But that's crazy, man. Y'all think his y'all think his girlfriend did it? No, no, no. Nah, I don't think she did it. I think she wants to post it. And she didn't even know exactly. Like she's probably just oblivious. She posted eating lunch at Roscoe. Do you yeah, know how like sad that is though? Up. That like people think you're responsible for like. Your man dying. You know what would be crazy though? What if she really was? What that if, would be crazy. She really <laughs> did post their location and like got him fucking set up. But then it'd be like for what? For money. Nah, <laughs> he's your baby daddy. 
and you date. Yeah, them. you'd get a lot more money out of just sticking around. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just dating keeping them. them alive would give you more money. If yeah. Anything, yeah. More keeping benefit. them alive. Keeping them alive. <laughs> keeping them alive, man. Keep the train going. Yeah. How do you take as much money as you can yeah. from a rich person? You don't kill <laughs> them. You keep them alive. <laughs> keep the gravy train going. Keep the gravy train going. Oh my. Yeah, but God. there was like a, and then there was a conspiracy about Atlantic Records, which is like the label that he was under. He had just became a, a independent artist. Yeah. But like, they, it was like a list of all these people from that record label that had died since like 2019, and it was like fucking like eight people. It's yeah, like that King Von dude. It was like several of them. I think X was on that list. I think he was. Uh, and apparently they they're known for taking out life insurance policies on their on their like whatever on their yeah. artists. Clients. Yeah, their artists. Which doesn't surprise me. Yeah, which doesn't surprise me. I kn- I could see how any record label would do that with like the way rap is. Yeah, but still, you know, it's a little and they odd, do isn't it? they they do literally sign like the biggest artists in like the south, in like the southern part of the country. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Wait, he was that big of an artist? He was no, he wasn't from the south. He's from like New York or something. I think. But he was pretty big. He was song, big dude. like five years ago. Damn. And then he tried so to do you jump. Do think beat. that there's there's people who work at these places who could actually scheme up something like that? Hey man, imagine if you you worked at one of those famous like type of joints where people come in, but it's not really a good area and shit. So it'd be kind of easy to get away with. Oh, you mean like at the restaurant? Yeah, like you can't work at a five star restaurant where celebrities visit. Like imagine working at a place like Roscoe's or a place like. Some famous Waffle House or some shit where, it, nah. you know, it's in, it's in a bad part of the neighborhood or whatever, and you can get away with some stuff. Not like get away with like a it's steakhouse just, or something, like a famous one. At least from what I remember when I went there, because I have family there. They're like, bro, when you go to Roscoe's, you are okay when you're in there. But when you leave, head on the swivel. So I don't think they might have, but I don't think it's rare that you see people run in Roscoe's and do that. Yeah, I've heard this pretty bad in LA now, man. I heard there's a lot of crime, and they don't really lock people up for some shit anymore. Like, yeah. they need to, like, with robbery, right? Like, if they rob you or if they steal some shit, right? It, it's only up to a certain amount to where they'll, like, prosecute or, like, mm. they'll put the motherfuckers in jail. Bro, that the sheriff sucks, said, bro. stop coming here. Like, he told people to stop going to LA. He was literally like, bro, like, why do y'all keep visiting here? It's a terrible you time. You might die. <laughs> I know. So fucking expensive. I'd be like, I'm going to L.A. I'm going to I'm gonna New York. Go, I'm going to go to L.A. and pursue my dream. Yeah. Or just for no reason. I just want to go live in L.A. right now. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. Oh, and you'll that, live in dude. a closet. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer, man. People are like, oh, like back in the day, rappers were so hard, like Biggie and Tupac and stuff. Motherfuckers are killing each other like left and right, dude, these days, too. Yeah. They should, but the thing is, it's not big time rappers. And I guess it's they not even good rap- security. It's not nah, even rappers killing big- each other. It's rappers being killed by civilians yeah. who want yeah. to steal from them or do something or it's have some robbery. Motive. Yeah, usually robbery. Actually, well, it wasn't really rappers killing rappers back then. Maybe in like Chicago, it was like in 2012 in Chicago, boy, rappers was killing rappers every day. Yeah, of the it was week. like their crews, like yeah. crews fighting and shit. Yeah. But now it's just rappers just getting robbed. Just getting and it's robbed. Like, damn. Man. It's social media, dude, just getting caught up. Yeah, man. People know what people got so they can they can come up on them. Yeah, but you got to be like Jay Cole, dude, and just wear a black tee. Bro. And just, I, got, I don't have anything on me but dude, this he, phone, that, man. He just goes and minds his own business, fucking. Plays basketball in goes, Ghana. Yeah, yeah, man. Just goes somewhere else. He looked very stiff. I saw some. I saw some clips. But that's He's really cool good. that he even got to that point. That's yeah. pretty, pretty badass. That's, I just don't want y'all to rob me, bro. <laughs> I just don't want y'all to rob me. So that's a this, bummer, though, man. So what's this I'm hearing about Drake and, and the needle drop? Oh, my God. Needle drop. Woo, okay. So the needle drop, I, I need to pull up the screenshots. For those hilarious. who don't know, the needle drop is like one of the, probably the most famous YouTube like music, music reviewer. Yeah. Like, you know. He's the biggest one. He's probably the mm. biggest one. So uh, he recently, so, you know, when Drake drops an album every year, damn near every year. Uh, the needle drop will say like, oh, it's like a light four, like a four out of ten or something like that, mm-hmm. because he doesn't think it's that good. Mm. So he does this almost every time. So he goes on YouTube last night and he's like, Drake sent me DMs, and the DMs are Drake sending him like vegan cookie recipes. What to make like vegan cookies? That's it. What was his opener? He was like, oh he's my like, god. He's like, hey, it's, I think, well, he was like, hey, it's Drizzy. Oh my god! No, he didn't just refer to himself. He said, as "He said, Anthony, it's Drizzy. I know we don't really see eye to eye about music, and you're not the biggest fan of my albums, but it is what it is. But I'm not messing you, messaging you about your videos. I actually found a great vegan cookie recipe. I love you to try. Then he goes on to send him the ingredients and the instructions to make it right, and then that was it. <laughs> and he said, Drizzy slug, out. Dude. That's got to be a slug. So like, then, <laughs> so, in Drake's words, this is like you're a bitch. Here's a cookie recipe. <laughs> so <laughs> then, vegan Drake." Sees this video apparently, right? And he goes on Instagram and he posts the actual DMs that he sent Anthony Fantano. What? And then he goes on to say, "Your existence is a light one, and the one is because you're alive." 
A light one out of ten is what he says. <laughs> then he says, he said it's a one, it's a light one, and the one is because you're alive and because somehow you wiped a black girl. And then he's, Anthony Fantano is a buff white man. <laughs> And then he also goes up to say, "I'm feeling a light, decent, uh, a light to decent one on your existence." <laughs> he, Drake is not happy with this guy, <laughs> yeah, and that's no. what he said. It's funny though that he clowned Drake into into to posting them hoes. Though. Exactly, that is very surprising. It's that sm- Drake, it's smart. It's yeah. smart though. He played he played him. He played him so well because he didn't have to do that. He could have no. just said what Drake actually said. Exactly. And I'm sure he meant it, bro. When he he gave those bad reviews, Drake's albums have not been good. They haven't. No, and you gotta you gotta understand, Drake. <laughs> you gotta you, you gotta right. understand. You know you're not releasing good shit. You, you know have to not. do better, bro. Yeah. You know, exactly. honestly, it's just an opinion. Who gives a fuck? It's, they're placing too much weight in his opinion, man. Like, don't be yeah. wrong. I like the guy's tastes, but sometimes him and I disagree on shit, and that's normal. You know, everybody has different musical tastes. Exactly. Sometimes artists just get, especially artists like Drake, get booty hurt as fuck. You know? Yeah. yeah Drake's got to get a lot of shit from all kinds of places. But this isn't the, the first. This isn't the first time someone's pressed him because I think ASAP Rocky pressed him, and then somebody from uh, Flatbush Zombies pressed him. Damn. Well, I didn't know he was that big of. A reviewer, I thought it was just like a like a random one off thing. Nah, he's the, he's, big, he's the biggest. He's big. Bro. He's the biggest. Like really two point five million subscribers. But to fish in Drake, <laughs> that's a fucking that's a win. That's a that's a catch. That's a catch, bro. Bro, that's hilarious. I think that on my dude, or he's just fucking around. No, what he's fuck, he's fucking. This is legit. Yeah, yeah. So, like the yeah. cookie recipe shit was fake, right? So he yeah. just made that up, just photoshopped it, whatever. And then Drake saw that video and he was like, "Oh, this motherfucker! I'm gonna send what I really sent." <laughs> oh, this motherfucker! So oh, so it was fake. Okay, the cookie yeah. recipe was fake. Okay, That's what I Anthony see. used to like say that DM Drake. Uh, uh, that Drake DM. And then he really did it. Okay. And then Drake really posted what he actually said. Oh, so the story just took a turn in my eyes. Yeah. I didn't notice that at first. Okay. It's hilarious. I thought he just like showed the vegan recipe and then said extra stuff. No, 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 no. no, no. no. He didn't video. really say the vegan recipe. Like that was just bullshit that Anthony Fantano made up. But G- Drake really did DM him and say that shit about like your yeah that you're a light one. Your good scheme he cooked up. Shit. It's, <laughs> it's a, a good great scheme. scheme. It worked. And Drake did that in like four hours. Yeah. <laughs> he said he DM'd him that at like twelve thirty a.m. <laughs> he yeah, Drake caught it quick. Drake was at, he was going to sleep. He was thinking about going to bed, brushing his teeth. He said, no. Wait a damn minute. And his no. and his mansion. A vegan in his mansion in Toronto. In his yeah. gigantic mansion with fucking 80 rooms. He said, no, I'm going to say something to this motherfucker. Probably on his gi- giant kitchen island, just putting his elbows on the fucking island. <laughs> yeah. And his fucking, his butler is just walking by. He's just like, let me fucking He's sighing and message shit. this motherfucker. Show <sighs> him what's up. Oh, you son of a bitch. I didn't send you cookie recipes. I didn't do that. <laughs> he ain't going to play me. He ain't going to play me. He he make me look stupid. And then he fucking <laughs> <laughs> he posts this and makes it look stupid regardless. <laughs> he said, I sent him cookie recipes. I'm going to show the truth. I'm going to show the truth. You're a bitch. I'm going to show them what really happened. I'm going to show them what really happened. They think I eat vegan cookies? <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. Trolls nah. are, are funny. Like, what you can get people to do. Like, celebrities oh, yeah. really do see some of this shit, and they get upset. I mean, if I was a celebrity, I'll be honest, I'd probably fall victim to that sort of thing. I'd look at the negative stuff on accident. And you gotta oh, yeah. answer people. Yeah. You gotta come back. That's human. But it's like... There's certain ways to respond to it, and that's the thing. That's the issue. I mean, have you ever gotten in an argument with someone on the internet? Oh, yeah. like It's pretty <laughs> funny. It's pretty funny. It's hilarious, dude. It's hilarious. And I know, I think I know the thing you're talking about, but like a stranger, like a complete stranger. Oh, not like that. I've done it in like maybe, YouTube comments maybe before. Maybe like once or twice, but I I just let it go at some point because I'm like, you know what? There's no point. This is a waste of my energy. I can go fucking put my energy into doing something else productive like lifting weights or some shit, you know? I agree. But boy, oh boy, is it is it a fucking trip when you're doing it? It was fun, bro. This I was like 15. Somewhere people, in the world. <laughs> it's a rush. People get bro, into you don't, it, man. You don't even know who they are. You don't know who they are. I was I'm, like 15 arguing about like Captain America in the comments or something. <laughs> in a YouTube comment section. In, in favor of or against? I think I was against something that happened. And I was arguing for like a good hour going back and forth oh, with this Captain one America, guy. Bro. I hate a motherfucker who's just strong. No, pow- <laughs> no powers and shit. He's, he's got a shield and he's strong. Get the he's fuck one out of the of most here. basic, probably one of my least favorite out of the Avengers. Him, yeah, he's, he's ass. Him yeah. and Black Widow, most favorite Iron Man, hands down. Yeah, oh, for sure. Iron dude. Man's fucking awesome. I, I watched that first movie again recently, the one that came it's out. It's a great like, movie. 2000s. Amazing. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is perfect as Iron Man. Yeah, that is a good movie. That fucking, the, the whole beginning arc, the terrorist thing. Yeah, that's really, so man. fire. Really oh, good. That shit was everywhere. great, bro. Second one's not bad either with the whips. Home the third the one's whips. not bad at all. I heard the third one's very good. I haven't seen that. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like the third one because it was just Iron Man fighting a bunch of Iron Mans. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> cute. It was I just empty suits. That. <laughs> it was a bunch of, someone learned how to build the suits and they just, they're just fighting a bunch of empty suits. Yeah. Like robots. <laughs> that's why I didn't like Ultron either. 
Ultron, oh, yeah, Ultron's kind of whack. They just tried to make him silly. It was got Robert California's voice to fucking... <laughs> Dude, speaking of fucking... Just making jokes. <laughs> speaking of fucking uh, movie stars, did you guys see Shia LaBeouf on that podcast with uh, John Barenthal? I did, and I'll tell you what, man. Before it happened, I loved Shia LaBeouf. And I still kind of want to like him, even though I really hope he didn't shoot a dog in L.A. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, I'm well, not sure if he actually did that. Thing? Hold on. There's first no of all, evidence for that. He, first, did, he did put his hands on a lady. Though. Him and John That's Bernthal true. on a podcast together sounds horrible. Second of all, yeah. did he really shoot a, a dog? There's no evidence for that, so That's I don't claims. know. <laughs> but there is. But he, but he <laughs> did. He'd be like his lawyer. <laughs> so there's no hey, evidence for that. I got to defend my guy. I got to defend my guy. I fucking love Shia. That's leading. I fucking love Shia. Shia's awesome, bro. He's He talks so cool, too. Like, the whole time, he's like... He's like, he's just talking about his life. He's like, the media doesn't know me, you know? They think about this, and that's not the kind of thing you want people to know because that's not sexy. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's just yeah, using he's the word sexy. He's, so like, often. he's like, it's not sexy when you're, when you're breaking down and you don't have any friends calling you and you're alone and you have a gun loaded to your head. Like, he was just talking about how he's about to commit suicide and, like, he got on a fucking AA call and shit. It's just, he's just going through, like, you know, what's happening with his life and, mm. like, all the bad shit he's did and all the remorse he has and how horrible he feels and, like, how he's trying to turn things around and like how he's really trying to take his like sobriety and like life seriously now and shit That's like good that. That's for him. Yeah, it is good for him, man. Yeah, I like him. He's a he's a good guy. He's got a good attitude. Like he seems like it. It's just I don't know, man. He he did kind of admit to putting his hands on a lady, which is a tough thing. It's to think tough. Of that that is that is bad, man. But it's also like, which is funny coming from three dudes. But it's it's, <laughs> a, it's also a little honorable, right? The guys we forgive him as men. I don't forgive him. I, I think em. we speak for the women. <laughs> <that> we <laughs> say <laughs> here. It's, it's fair to say we can speak for the women. All right. I speak come as on. the woman that he put his hands on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive him. Ladies, come on. Let's Ladies, ask. come on. Forget shy. <laughs> No, but it's a little bit like kind of honorable, right? That like you don't really see that too often. Where a celebrity comes up, it's not. No, okay, it's, it's no, a tough thing no, to I know say, what you mean. man. I know, no, I know what you. I know what you're saying though. You're saying that like him, like admitting that he admitted it to it, yeah, like, and no one team, asked for bro, it. Yeah. yeah, and admitting and saying that like he did wrong. He's not denying it. He's just saying like I did bad shit. Hopefully, I'm not a bad person. I'm trying to change my life. And to me, there's nothing wrong with that because everybody does bad things, right? Some people, <laughs> some do some, some worse some shit do than worse other shit, shit right? <laughs> <laughs> Some do worse shit. No, just kidding. Do, do I think that <laughs> does that in my mind to me does that peg him as a bad person? No, I yeah. think he did bad shit. I think he needs to make up to those people for the things that he did. And he needs to apologize to those people mm. and like make that right. But I don't think it makes him a bad dude. Yeah, man, that's a tough one though, dude. I do He's think, done I do think, a I lot of shit, bro. I think it's the line cross when you do something like that. The line know? he crossed for me was when he was freestyling on Sway in the Universe in the morning. And what? he stole someone's bars. That was a thing. He he did that was that? yes. Oh, I was about to talk about that because it was actually it went super, He stole super hard. someone's lines, ver- like line for line. You he stole remember? a verse, like a whole verse. Damn near. Fuck, that's tough, bro. <laughs> bro, he's. That's I don't tough. like. Right, now, now, he, now he, can't, he can't come back from that. He can't come back. From, that's when Ladies, I was like too far. Him. <laughs> the woman beat him. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. But the, the bar stealing, I couldn't do it. Oh man, that's tough. That's nah, tough. I'm just not, I just holds, shy, dude. I love him. Oh man, even, <laughs> Steven, <laughs> even Stevens, bro. Come on, hey, come on, Stanley yelling at. It's man. crazy come that on. everybody else that was in that movie came out normal. <laughs> Shia was the only one that fucked up. It's zero is cool. That's what success will do for you, man. Like that's what I mean. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm sure people try hard like crazy, just like Shia LaBeouf did. But like, in a way, it's a little bit of luck, and you know, someone gets put in that position. Yeah, and I'm sure they're gonna act like a fucking crazy I, person. I They've been think, rich their whole lives. Exactly. I also think it's a young age thing because look at like some of the older ones. They're just like. They're just chilling. They're not doing anything too crazy, right? Yeah. But, like, you know, he was famous since he was fucking, God knows, fucking, like, 10 or some shit like that. You yeah. know, that has to fuck somebody up, you know? What he's, what, I just imagine him as, like, a very old school kind of famous. That's what he, like, he comes off to me. Like, he'd be like Marlon Brando or something. He's, like, he's nostalgic he's, always. He's yeah. very much like a Marlon Brando type. Like Marlon Brando was beating women and taking penis, but we didn't say that. Beating he was women beating women, penis. taking penis. He had an eating addiction. Apparently, yeah. he would get super fat between roles, and he'd have to, like, go on, like, binges of, like, not eating. And he was a horrible to... guy. He was a horrible guy on set, but made stupid money. But not going to lie, the guy was an amazing actor, though. Yeah. If you watch his performances. He was a <laughs> Superman loaded off of cocaine, and he did a great job. Damn, bro. To be doing drugs back in the day. That's old, that's a good that's old shit was Hollywood shit, man. Anything that's, was sliding. That's why man. I see Shia. Shia is like a very like old school kind of guy. And it's like, cool, bro. You coming around, but I got to accept it. 
You don't just get to be like, I'm trying to change my life. Hopefully, people like me. It's like, yeah, ah. it's got to take a while, man. For yeah, for sure, man. He has to, like I said, he has to make amends with the people that he wronged and the things that he did. You he he got to make, back? he got to make five more Honey Boys, and I'll be like, okay. <laughs> but is Honey you know Boy good? Crazy? Honey Boy's pretty good. I, I gotta watch it. I, I heard he talked about it in the pod that uh, that wasn't actually true. Like a lot oh. of the a lot of the bad things he said about his dad were like he he exaggerated them for the story. Okay, they didn't actually hit him and shit like that, and you know. I don't. I don't know if he was a deadbeat or probably just an irresponsible guy. Mm. But in the movie, he made him out to be like a straight a up villain, yeah, like a straight up abusive. No, no spoilers. Dad. I actually am gonna watch that. It's pretty. Oh, good. It sounds okay. pretty good. Like I was looking. I was looking it up after I was watching the the podcast, and I was like, man, this movie sounds fucking good. Honey boy, honey boy, come he here, honey boy. He made another one with some uh, Down syndrome kid that's supposed to be good too. Yeah, I, peanut I butter falcon. I don't peanut called. butter falcon. Yeah. You yeah. seen the whole? No, I haven't. But I hear it's good. I hear good things, you know. But I, <laughs> <laughs> like that's what we need to start casting more people with Down syndrome and stuff like that. That's gonna be the next step into like, yeah, inclusivity. You know, yeah, it's like it, it going away f- like from because they're already starting to cover all the bases with like the non-binary blue hair motherfuckers, right? So at this yeah. point, they're like, all right, we've covered these people. They can stop yelling at us now. Let's let's get to the people who no one really even cares about. Yeah. But you know, like like going into that. Will there ever even be? Will that be a thing? Right, because those people aren't loud. The people who have Down syndrome are the special people. They're not loud. Like they're not on social media. They don't have people advocating for them. You know what Would I mean? You laugh? <laughs> the, yeah. They don't have no. people. They don't have people going out for them like saying they don't. shit. It's right? true. <laughs> people aren't yelling at motherfuckers because there's not a fucking Down syndrome kid in the office or some yeah, shit. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like a wheelchair protest. <laughs> yeah. <you> know, <laughs> <laughs> come on, but bro. But wheelchairs. Though. Why don't? The <laughs> but what, what, what happened was they would make movies about people that had Down syndrome and cast normal people. <laughs> <laughs> and they would act as they had Down syndrome. And that, that was fucked up. Yeah. Going method actors. Bro, method Cuba Gooding Jr. Actor. in radio is the craziest movie I've ever seen in my life, bro. He's just walking around with a radio and he has like Down syndrome. And it's fucked up. You're fucking lying. I swear. That's the Did movie? They do, like, it's a whole Jesus movie. Christ. They put props in his face or is he just making no, the face? No, he's making the face. Oh my Who directed God. Spike Lee? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, and then it was some other, some dumb And there's another movie shit. with uh, Rosie O'Donnell and she's doing that too. It's crazy. She was in movies? Yeah. What does she do? You know, I don't know she anything actors. about her. The only thing I know about her <laughs> is that Curry. Trump called her a fat thing. <laughs> oh, oh, he did? <laughs> he this was literally, this was, bro, this was during, before, and after his presidential yeah. run. Damn, so he even does not like this lady. He, he does, does not, not like regret her. what he said. And he'll, to this day, he'll call her a fat pig. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how he got started. I think she might have, like, called him out on her show or some Probably, shit. Probably, yeah. And then he was like, Rosie O'Donnell is a fat pig. And then, like, he never, <laughs> he never let up. To be the president of the United States, it costs him a fat pig. Yo, that's president. crazy. Imagine you're hurt During and then you see that guy win the fucking presidency. I'd be sweating just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, my God. Bro. That's rough, bro. I don't want to get called a fat pig on national television. <laughs> and have people cheering right after they say that. <laughs> you got to come back and just and just clown him, I think. No, nah, Trump can't. is so easy to clown. It's like he just dishes it out and it's he's like impervious to insults, bro. Because like, he was the president, bro. He won. Yeah, there's a million yeah, of them. You could shoot a million of them. And I think man. he knows that. But, like, he just sends them out and just looks the other way. <laughs> yeah, man. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Fucking he's just crazy. In his, oh he's in his own world. I think he's, like, in a bubble, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's We're in his own bubble. these days? He's on Plus Telegram. He, he just hangs out on a golf course, gets on Telegram, gets on, uh, what's, the, what's that one social media? Truth Social. Truth just, Social. That's all I was thinking. Oh, tweets, that's his new thing? Tweets yeah. insane shit. I guess it's not really tweeting. It's, like, truthing. He truths <laughs> some insane shit. You know, some conspiracy theories That's and shit. That's some dumb shit. That's a dumb name for an app. Truth, truth? Social? Yeah. Yeah, right. It was so on the nose, bro. Like, okay, we get it. Like, truth. This is truth and everything else is fake. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. That's, like, the problem with, like, a lot of these, like, apps that pop up. Because, you know, like, all the motherfuckers who get canceled or whatever, who get taken off of, like, mainstream social media, they're like, okay, we got to go somewhere. So, they make this shit, like, they make, like, Rumble. They make Truth Social. They make, was it Getter? Was it Getter? Or Gabber? One of those. And you know, they make all those fucking sites. But then those sites are shitty. Yeah, the user faces are not exactly the user interface is not exactly yeah. the same, and the people you have on there are fucking crazy. Because then you get like you do yeah. get like regular right wing people, and you get fucking the insane the outside, motherfuckers. Yeah, you get the motherfuckers who are like, "Let's kill Obama." You know, you get yeah. like people like that. You're like, "Okay, I'm not exactly with that guy." <laughs> Poor guy, bro. Two presidents ago, <laughs> <laughs> two presidents ago. <laughs> kill it's all his fault. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, man. It's uh, social media is tough. And yeah, it's, it's shit like that. I mean, that's exactly what you're asking for. This yeah. guy makes a fucking social media platform. You think people, the craziest people that support him aren't going to go over there? Hell no, they're running over the there. The capital people out on bail? <laughs> the crazies. <laughs> the fucking crazies. Did we talk about that one social media app, that new one? What the hell is it called, man? What social media app? The one where like it's a timer thing. 
Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 we have to post the be real. Be real. Wait, we have to post a photo of yourself once a day, and they'll just message you or some shit. It's just once a day. Yeah, I think it's just once a day. Oh, what the fuck it, is that? But you know, don't it quote me. Don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure if that's exa- that's the case of how it works, right? But that's mm. how I've like read. Yeah, that it works. Wait, I'm so sure what is it, so what is the point of it? Like, you post a picture of like yourself, and that's yeah, it's supposed it to be like much. like you know how on Instagram we post these like manicured. Photos edited, you put that bitch in them. There'll be Lightroom, you know, tune up everything. I was like, That's y'all. I'd be posting, making shit look shit. nice. No, I'm got, talking about like the majority. Good, oh yeah, yeah, majority yeah, of people, yeah. right? Like especially like, influencers and shit. Yeah. So the idea of this is supposed to be like an authentic, raw social like, experience to where you're just posting where you are, who not where you are, but who you are in that moment. Okay. Which is kind of a cool idea. Ah. And it's catching on with like younger people and people at colleges and shit. But yeah, you know, I'm not really, I don't really fuck with it. I want to put myself on the line here. Mm. I'm going to say something very outlandish probably to some people. This is just the way I think. I think there's nothing wrong with people posting manicured photos on Instagram. Yeah, man, go for it. No, I don't like it's, it. It's on the person that sees it and it's like, oh, I can be that. It's like, no. It's You're not, not going to be that. I'm not even worried about other people feeling bad. I'm just worried about, like, be be real, brah. No, you know, be, <laughs> be real. Be fucking real, dude. That's nah. that's why uh, that's that's actually it's a good name now. Yeah, they got me. But <laughs> they got me. I, I got <laughs> after this. <laughs> no, but like, come on, man. Like, be real. You know, just just put your face up. Put on makeup and do whatever you got to do or whatever. Use a filter, but like to literally adjust like your eyebrows and like your eye width and shit. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. crazy, dude. That's like that's like psychotic, man. That's too much. I mean, it is, but hey, man, if it's making people money and they're not hurting anybody. Like physically hurting anybody? Who gives a shit? You can't argue with money. You, you can't, can't, <laughs> what you can't, can't argue, argue with, money. with someone trying to get a buck, man. They're unless making, it's like yeah, a bad they're, way. They're making money and like like Gio said, the people susceptible to it, they would have been susceptible. One, they would have been susceptible otherwise. And yeah. two, it's up to them to not be such feeble minded bitches. Yeah, no. Oh shit. You know okay. what I mean? All I mean, right. Yeah, the whole the whole fucking issue with like people feeling bad about what they have because they see influencers on social media that's so fucking I don't get that maybe that's a girl thing yeah. alright oh damn that sounded horrible I'm gonna take that one hey, back yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel hey, like it's Andrew Tate shit <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Tate I know shit. I don't know I don't be as a dude looking at other dudes and being like nah I could be that like you know what I mean? I definitely don't feel that. No, so yeah, I feel like it is kind of mo- more women. Uh, it is more women, Young but women you know, especially. It, it affects, which sucks. No, it and affects I don't like dudes. that society set up that way. No, listen, listen, it, we're not being fair to the ladies. It affects dudes in some ways, right? Because like it some does. dudes will see like guys with like badass cars or shit, and like yeah. those guys will be posting videos like you can buy my class and you can be just like me, bro. Yeah, yes, that's, 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 that's true. That's true. That's true. Dudes fall for that shit. You know what I mean? Like, but then the I money, look in the cars. I look into their eyes and I'm like, I don't want to be that guy. The guy looks like a fucking douche. I look at yeah. Andrew Tate and I'm like, I don't want to be him. His head looks like a mushroom. <laughs> I don't like want to be him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I Like, it's cool you have money. It's great. Whatever the fuck. But I look in your eyes and I see who you are. I'm like, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. I just want to be normal ass me with my normal ass shit. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, that's, I don't know. But I do see where you're coming from. Yeah, where on the flip side, people do kind of get envious. And like, I yeah. think it's a money thing. It's a, it's a big money thing with yeah. men. And with women, it might be like, it's like a luxury. Image, image and status yeah. for yeah. women, for like men, vacations and fun stuff. I mean, guys are just falling for like the forex shit. Guys, fall, <laughs> you know, that's like that is true. It's like fun. nonstop. That is valid. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't feel the need to want to be one of these people online, but it's yeah. just fucking nuts, dude. And that's just gonna get crazier and crazier. Once it is. VRU goes out in the world, like that's what everybody only sees, and that's just you. Especially as these personalities continue to splinter out and splinter out, you'll start to have more extreme people. Yeah, selling more extreme shit or more extreme visions or ideas of shit. Like, there'll be chicks who are fucking getting like you know, I don't know fucking triple G size titties. You know what I mean? Like, like Bro, it's shit, already happening. It's already happening. You know, like shit like that. Like, I saw somebody's. I saw one woman's body, and I was like, "Bro, how do you even like walk? Yeah, like so, how do you how do you look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yeah, this is what I wanted? <laughs> That's just crazy. That shit gives me anxiety to look at." Like a bad boob job where oh it's like God. it's like flat and then you can clearly see where this boob is. That's what I'm inside saying. Of their body is. Maybe it's outside of my tax bracket. I don't know who it's for. Yeah. I don't know who's looking at that girl and it's like, yeah, that's what I wanted to want. It's one of those issues, man, where people just they can't accept being older or they can't accept having smaller boobs and they just take it too far. And I want to date a girl that can't, like, she can't even hula hoop properly. <laughs> she can't even hula hoop. She can't look at this girl, bro. She can't even sit flat on her tummy and she read a book. <laughs> she can't do it because it looks that bitch sitting on her titties. <laughs> she can't titties go on a plane. <laughs> she can't sit on her tummy and read a book. Them titties will explode. <laughs> titties wow. are done for, dude. <laughs> no, man. I think that comes from within them, though. 
Like yeah. it comes from within those people, like oh, their insecurities shit. with yeah. themselves. Like they feel like they're not what society wants. Maybe it comes within like the, their own ideals too. Maybe like they feel like they should have. They don't like their titties. They want bigger titties. Yeah. So then they get a double D. Like okay, I got my D's, and they're like, ah, I want bigger, and then they go fucking up. Like, this is crazy. Okay, and this is going to slowly turn into an Andrew Tate episode. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say this for the people that like listen to like that kind of stuff. To get women, right? That's like, okay, I want to listen to this to like get tips on women. Those aren't the right women that you should be chasing. No. That's true. And they don't want you. No. So don't listen to these people for they, guidance. They just want stuff. guys <laughs> with money. With yeah. money. Guys and, with status. And that's it. And that's pretty much it. Like They don't want, like, the average dudes, they don't want. And the majority of dudes are average dudes. Exactly. You and the dudes mean? that are chasing those women do not want a woman with, I don't know, class. I don't know what to say. But what they don't want that kind that of is. shit. Yeah, it's like it's just two weird people chasing each other. Yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah, and it's gonna continue happening between those kinds of people, right? And then like younger people are watching his videos and getting these ideas of like, this is how the world should be. This is how you should treat women, yeah. and so on and so forth. And right? Fucked, and it's fucked. Yeah, man. Thank but, God I'm, we about to get out. But of like here. you know, I'm not gonna, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I watch his shit. I like his shit. I think he's fucking hilarious. But like, I can I can understand and I can disassociate and say, okay, I'm not gonna fucking believe what he's saying yeah. just because I'm listening to him say it. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of younger people can't do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Or even not even younger people. It's a lot of people in general too, right? Yeah. They they'll listen to shit and they'll get further and further and further into like an ideology or a belief because they're listening to these people say this and like even though it's not necessarily true or. You know, though that's not how the world works in a lot yeah. of ways for a lot of people. Which is why I'm fine with him being, like, shut out from everything. Because, <laughs> like, some people can't, like, just be like, okay, he's just funny. They're like, no, he's funny and he's right. And I should also do this and fuck women and all this shit. <laughs> take it way too far, bro. Yeah, they just take it way too far. And it's like, okay, yeah, maybe we should, like, cool them down a little bit. <clears throat> but it makes you wonder, like, are those bad people? Like, people yeah. that already had that seed in them that are like, okay, this guy's this guy's justifying what I think already. And, like... Just goes further and further and further with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, to be a good person and get brainwashed by someone like Andrew Tate, it's like, how's that happen? It it really doesn't. I feel like it wouldn't. I feel like it couldn't happen with a person who has, like, a level head, you know? You got to already be susceptible. Yeah. Exactly. You got to already be thinking bad shit. And then now yeah. this guy's saying it, and he's on a platform, and you're like, all right. You're this like, yeah. Is the guy. <laughs> yeah, he speaks for me. You That's Trump, way. dude. Women shouldn't drive. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of little mini Trumps, man. Women shouldn't drive. Who gave him license? They <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't, though. <laughs> and, and, they're, and they're like kids, bro. So they haven't really met someone that they like, you know. That's going to change their idea about that type of shit. Of right? they're not gonna, they haven't met a woman that's like, wow, I like this woman, and like, I don't want her to be in the kitchen all the time. It's a crazy changing world, man. Yeah. Kids are just like take. I couldn't even imagine having all the technology in your hands at like six years old. You yeah, know what I mean? Because at six years old, I, I feel like yeah, they're gonna give you the iPad and like you know fucking you'll just go on Google and watch bullshit YouTube videos from Coco Melon. <laughs> but like pretty soon, I feel like you'll catch on, bro. By like eight years old, I feel like they're looking up stuff. I feel like oh, looking, yeah. Because it's easy to get in a rabbit hole, Dude, you know? You look up assholes and I'm, you're like, oh I'm my God, you, I know what sex is now. <laughs> At eight years old, they're looking at videos of people killing each other. Yeah. I'm bro. guaranteeing that's what kids are doing now. I mean, parents probably put like the locks on people's uh, kids' phone, but kids are smart, bro. Yeah, I must say, kids are smart. They've than grown them. up yeah. with technology, they know how to get around that shit. And, it, and they're curious. And yeah. you don't know it's too real until you're watching it. And you're like, whoa, this yeah. is, okay, this was a lot, and now it's in my brain. Bro, kids, as a kid, kids are so curious. I was like 11, and my mom had like these blocks like for X-rated sites on my phone or whatever. But I was like, oh, it's only when I'm on the Wi-Fi. So all I had to do was disconnect from the Wi-Fi, and I'm fine. And I'm watching <laughs> porn all day. So, <laughs> so I, was, I, like, I was smarter than her at that age. Like She didn't even know that I could get around it back then. So Just the kids the now, <laughs> now, it's like way advanced, Imagine. man. <laughs> Yeah, now it's way four hundred dollars. Yo, what were you doing? I used twenty gigabytes. <laughs> I was playing Roblox. <laughs> Roblox with my friends. Did I ever tell you the story of me getting a virus on my laptop from porn? <laughs> what? Oh man, I, I we... got a stupid <laughs> virus on my laptop. So uh, my my laptop just like it's just pop ups, like popping up every time I get on my computer, right? So we take it to Best Buy, and um, I actually my mom takes it to Best Buy, and I go to school. So she picks me up from school. Oh, no. (laughs) You sent it off on its own? (laughs) Oh, Jesus. So she comes back. She's like, well, what is BBW porn? And all this. And I'm like, (laughs) my world is crumbling, bro. I'm in the car. 
I didn't expect none of this shit to happen, bro. You think she was oblivious to not know what it was? Or you think she looked it no, up? No, she knew what it was because it said Pornhub right next to it. What yeah, is no, BBW yeah, porn? Like, porn? Porn names have to be more inconspicuous, dude. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> big black bitch gets taken down on BBC, and I'm like, fuck, man. I'm caught. That's my favorite video. Fucking <laughs> Best Buy. Why are you spilling my beans like that? Just fix the shit and give it back to her. <laughs> How old are you? Oh my god, I was like. 13. Maybe oh, 12. Oh, no, man. Yeah. What Ooh, a bad man. age to get caught, too. But that shit was tough. Because that's the age where, like, it's still, it's still, it's kind of awkward, you know, but like. It's always awkward. It's always yeah. awkward. It'd but like, if you were. Now, I think. If you were a little, <laughs> if you were a little bit older, if you were like 16, she would just be like, okay, maybe he needs the birds and bees talk or some shit. Yeah. But if you're 13, you're still kind of little, too. So, like. Yeah. She, she knows your ass just started. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> she's, just, she's like, fresh to the game. He's just getting. He's and this <laughs> is what he started with? He fucked he's up. He didn't know the rules. Now we got viruses. He's a rook. He'll he's, learn. He's a rook. Now he's, he's a, a rook. He's going to learn the mistake, ropes. bro. He's he got to get his bumps and his bruises. <laughs> oh, God. Except of everything. You don't download nothing, dude. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Bro, I was downloading him hella shit, and I was like, damn, I finally got caught. Yeah, and I then, fucked up my computer, too. Like, see. Similar way, man. It's, it's porn. You, I have to see what's going on. <laughs> It was LimeWire. <laughs> Lime yeah, LimeWire Lime Lime got me too. And nothing is worse than one of those old ass computers and the, the ads, the pop ups won't stop. Bro. And it's so slow already to begin with, and now it's overloaded with these pop ups. You're like, I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> can't exit them out these, for two minutes. And I'm these, like, I'm fucking, so fucked. these fucking Windows computers, man, they're yeah. all just so susceptible to oh fucking viruses. And oh, back yeah. in the day, you didn't know what you were downloading. Like, you just kind of yeah. click download. I would, I would see, like, okay, this says. Fucking Stacy Keebler nude from fucking WWE. I gotta see this. I download it and it's a picture of some dude's nuts or something. <laughs> so it's like you don't know what you're gonna get. People could people could very blatantly like no problem send you a virus because you're downloading that shit. Hell yes, because it says titties above it. <laughs> that's that's titties a, MP3. Or whatever. That's an easy hook. Yeah, that's a real like if I'm a guy putting a virus in the shit, I'm like I'm just gonna fucking put it in the fucking porn shit. Yeah, that's oh, an easy one. A hacker hackers must have been thriving. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, man. It must have been so easy back then. It must have been so much fun. <laughs> All the little kids that they were just ruining their lives. <laughs> They're just coming yeah. up on their fucking, their parents' credit cards and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, things, oh my God, bro. Oh kids with God. the internet. Kids with the internet is too much. Yeah. I miss computer games, man. I got to bring those back. Yeah, not bro. PC, not too much. Take it easy. I want a nice, simple like a flash computer game? game. Yeah, like a fucking, <laughs> what was a good one? There used to be like this. Forza type of game that you would play. Forza. But it was simple. I don't want like fucking a straight up Forza now, like Forza 5. That's too oh, much. Okay. I'm talking about a bullshit little fun one, like a little McDonald's type of game. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. What happened to those? We're taking it too far, guys. Games Keep are the insane, though, man. Like, I have this one game that I've been playing, Destiny 2. Dude, you feel like. You feel like if you don't log on for a day, you feel like you're getting behind. Really? Yeah. yeah, you're like, fuck, man. Like, I need to fucking get on and run some missions or some shit because I'm missing out on all this fucking gear and all my homies are getting gear and everybody's fucking leveling up their light and shit and I'm fucking stalled. I'm at fucking 1546. Everybody else is at fucking 1556. Everybody <laughs> else is getting up and I'm fucking stuck down here in the low light shit. <laughs> stuck down here in the slums and they're up there with their fucking clean ass shoulder armor. Yeah, man. It, it, <laughs> it's, Come on, bro. They got that, fucking all these exotic weapons and that's shit. How, on, that's man. how these games work, dude. They fucking, they target people like that and they're just like, they make you keep grinding and like for loot boxes and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. They know how to keep you hooked because it's a big time thing. It's all about like Log in and you get this every day. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So people people just feel like they need to log in. And once you log in, I might as well play a game. And then you just fucking play more. Oh, yeah. Like, they don't send you back to the main menu when you're done playing a the game. They no. send you right as back into looking for another one. <laughs> 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 all right. Back into the fucking loading screen, dude. Oh, my God. Until you exit out. It's smart, dude. And all those, like, battle royale type of things where you level up. It just makes people want to play. But yeah. If you think about it, like what you just said, how like the game with that particular game, it'll keep putting you into more games. Mm -hmm. It's the same way with like streaming. Episodes will just play and play yeah. and play until like eventually Netflix has that shit where it's like, are you still watching? Yeah. That's only after like so many episodes. Yeah. Though. That's true. Hulu, they all do it. They all do it. But I was watching. Some, I was watching. Oh, I don't want to tell what I was watching, but I was watching something today, and it just kept flying through the episodes. I was like, "Damn, I didn't even know I was in episode seven by now." Yeah, man. I mean, you're for real though. Like everyone makes jokes about that, like oh, cheesy. But like, you ever fall asleep and you're like on two seasons into a Bro, show? And you're yes. like, man, come on. Like, all right, two, three episodes. That's fine. But like, you played twelve. You played twenty episodes <laughs> while I was. asleep? <laughs> How did you not stop? <laughs> no. What's worse is if you fall asleep watching like a YouTube video. Bro, done. Yeah. That bitch will keep playing until you wake up. 
fucking YouTube. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not I buying swear. YouTube Red, man. I don't care how yeah, I'm not it's trash. Right. Strap, dude, they make it. Let me tell you what, though. They gave me a three month free trial recently, and I had it for three months. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking awesome. No ads. Cool. You can close your phone. The video keeps playing. They still have that now. They have that for free now. The three month free trial. That. Yeah, is that it. okay? Yeah, that's a uh, no. Like if you close it and like if you close the app, you can still watch the video like in a little small window. No, you can't. Yeah, I you can, like drag God, it around. I can do it right if now. you like close your phone. Yeah. No, you can't. This shit happened to me the other day, and I was like, I was probably like, doing I it for like a month, bro. Like if you close your phone, I don't know about close my phone, but are you talking about if you just like close the app and swipe off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture on picture. Yeah, yeah, could, yeah, yeah. I knew about that. I knew you could do that. But now you can do that. You can't do free. it without with closing your phone. I could have sworn I did it with closing my phone. I no, think you, can. you can't close your phone. Because I did. Cause I was the watching audio. a podcast the other day. I was in my car and I closed it off and it was still working. That's I want insane. that so bad. YouTube knows like I got it the too. Little, YouTube, they know the features people here. want. <laughs> I got the little window in the window thing. Yeah, you yeah. can do the picture on picture okay, shit. Let me see if I can. I'm do not this buying list. any new iPhones, man. They just had that iPhone 14. Shit's fifteen hundred dollars. What? Hey man, I'm not hoes, buying it. Them hoes are expensive, but let me tell you what: the second your phone starts acting up, you're gonna be like, okay, maybe I should get one. Yeah, but that's true. You know what's the nice thing about Apple, which they shouldn't have been doing in the first place? They, it feels like they haven't been doing that because I feel like before with my other phones, with my my seven and six, or with my eight and six or whatever, I feel like it was a lot more obvious when you would da- when you would uh, it's download still an update. It's still working. Oh, fuck. It's a YouTube video. Yeah, that's astounding. That's, insane. that's astounding. But, but I feel like back in the day, it was a lot more obvious that they would slow your phone down. Like yeah, now, I think like, they. Works no, it's, they it's still them, obvious now. They build, I feel like it's pretty quick. They build them better and better. I think, like as far as like hardware, for right? sure, it's got to be better. But how I much think with better? like the the software is like the old ones start to get more slow, right? Because they get clunky. Yeah, because they're older, they can't run the newer software as well. So then eventually, like they struggle to run the newer software. And it, by struggling, I mean like it consumes more battery, doing yeah. regular functions, and it's slower. Like operations are a lot slower to move between the screen. Yeah. And the apps also fuck it up too. Because yeah. the apps are on the newer shit, so it's like exactly even trying to open up certain apps, and yeah. you can only run a ten. Yeah, pretty much. It's like much it still works, right? Because they adapt it to for for phones that are older, but like it's just not as efficient as if you were running it on the new iPhone. Yeah, I mean, I always say I'm not gonna get the new iPhone. I don't. But, like, whenever I do get that new iPhone, it does feel good. It feels so nice and sleek. So nice and sleek. But this it thing, does. man, you got to just toss a good case on it. I took the case off. <laughs> You're crazy. I was feeling super cool because my coworkers, <laughs> they had theirs off. And I was like, man, that shit looks slick. So I took that shit looks sexy. So that shit looks sexy <laughs> on his Shiloh. He's on his Shiloh buff I'm on mood. my Shiloh. I said, damn, that shit looks sexy. So I, I took it off. Let me shoot it. <laughs> 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 Let me That's a rumor. That's a disgusting rumor. Let right. me choke it against a wall. <laughs> oh, that's so sexy. That's so sexy. That's super sexy. Andrew Tate would love it. So, <laughs> but I took it off and I put the fucking screen protector on there. Bro, it didn't take more than, I swear to God, three weeks for this shit to get like eight cracks. I'm Bro, not even kidding. <laughs> the screen protector took the brunt of it, but when I took it off, it got a real one. Yeah. And I was like, man, it did not take very long. Well, you took the screen protector off? I took the screen protector off when I put this case on. Oh, you're and then a I, I saw the man. damages. I saw the damages. For you're real. crazy, man. iPhones need cases. Yeah, they, they need cases. Candy, and they need the fucking uh, the the tempered not the temp- is it the tempered glass? The tempered glass the tempered screen glass. protector sh- shit. Yeah. They need them motherfuckers too, man. Because bulletproof shit. Yeah, yeah. if not, them motherfuckers <laughs> can get scratched the fuck up. Yeah. key, if you want to feel like you got a new phone, just change the case. Yeah. That's that's one Honestly, way you'll really be like, bro. Case. I got a brand new phone. I feel like a million bucks right now, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like, I'm like a brand new man. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh man, man. Did you guys hear about um? It, my girlfriend was telling me about this, so I'm not exactly sure, like what people are fucking talking about. But like, there's a trailer for this new like Little Mermaid movie, and apparently, the new Little Mermaid oh, yeah. is like a black chick. Yeah, yeah. I'm like not happy. Why are people so fucking pissed though? It's Halle Bailey. Yeah, and is she, she hot? deserves respect. She is. She's very pretty. She's very hot. good looking. What's yeah. the problem? Very good looking. Because she's black. No, but like but that's, she's hot, so it's okay. It's, it's hilarious though. Isn't yeah, it? come like, on, man. And she somebody... sings amazing. She has a great voice. Well, there you go. Even better. That's all you need to, to play Little Mermaid, I think. Yeah. Be a girl and sing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't dye your hair red. Yeah, it's toss whatever. a fishtail on. No, but like it's crazy. Like that type of movie is getting backlash. It's a fucking mermaid movie. It's yeah. an animated mermaid movie, and they made it live action. There's no rules. <laughs> they can do exactly. whatever they want. She's talking to a fucking <laughs> crab and a fish, man. I, mean, I know, right? <laughs> She's How arguing with her like octopus aunt. I think. <laughs> Imagine they make bro. The... Melissa McCarthy is going to play the uh, Ursula. I mean, what is that? Really? Oh that God. is the worst. If anything, they should be more upset about that. 
<laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad casting? Hell yeah, Melissa McCarthy is just horrible. <laughs> Was she gonna, is it going to be comedic? Is she going to be funny? She has to be comedic. Enough with the live action shit. Bro. Enough Fuck with Melissa Pinocchio. McCarthy. Stop Fuck putting Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy I do, bro, in I do not like live action like in combination with animation. That shit is whack as fuck, bro. Yeah, it's so bro. stupid. I'm sick of live action of animated movies where everything yes. is CGI, bro. Yeah. The Lion King. That made me so mad. I was like, that was unnecessary. <laughs> that was boring as fuck. I wouldn't want to watch, bro. Make them cartoons. This isn't this isn't cool when they look and, like real lions. And then they <laughs> get like celebrities like Donald Glover, Beyonce, and shit like that to be able to like attract people to watch them shit. That was a they know waste they're of not time. good, bro. They just put mega celebrities as the voice actors. I do think the Little Mermaid is gonna be good though. I think it'll be okay. You think so? I didn't yeah. see the trailer actually. It looked good. It looks okay. You know, I, I don't. Mean, all I see is zooming in on her from like an aerial view, and she's just. Oh, yeah, and as you yeah. get like a little glimpse of flounder behind her. Okay. Yeah, but that's you know it. I, I don't really the... fuck with like kid movies like that, except for like Pixar shits. You know what I mean? Mm, but yeah. um, you know, a movie I did see recently because I've started me and my girlfriend started doing something new. Like, we're gonna do like movie night every week. Mm -hmm. So like every Thursday is gonna be like our movie night. So we watched. She picked the first one. So I was like, all right, she'll take the first one. She picked, no, she actually picked a good movie, though. Dear John. No, oh, dude, I would have been. <laughs> fucking Paper Towns. <laughs> I would have been, if she picked Dear John, I would have been so mad. Um, no, she picked A Star is Born. You guys heard of that movie? I will oh. never in my life watch that movie. That okay. movie's good, though, Because bro. the devil is in that movie. And you know who the devil Chappelle? is? Lady Gaga. I can't stand that woman. <laughs> What's wrong with Gaga? I hate that woman. Why? She's a fucking piece of air. She seems nice. Oh, yeah, Gaga to looks who? good. To, to me, she seems like a, <laughs> yeah, to man. Me, she seems like a nice lady. I hate Lady she Gaga. She looks good. She sings okay. She looks good. Yeah. Was it the meat dress? It was a meat dress. It was a lot of things. Poker that meat star, dress is too far. Poker face, didn't like it. She had that. She had like a sexy Christmas song come out or something where she's talking about like <laughs> fucking yeah. under the mistletoe or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's but too I, far. Did, I did hear that movie was good though. No, the movie's good though. It, Bradley Cooper actually directed it. Yeah. And dude, I think he... Not an original movie. No, no, no. They've, it's been... That movie, the first movie, the first iteration of that movie came out in 1937. So it's been yeah. remade oh, so many times. Fuck. But this is like a new spin on it. It's always like a new spin, right? But this is yeah. actually really good. And he plays like a country music star, and he's like at the back end of his career. He's still really famous, and he plays like stadiums and shit. But mm -hmm. you know, his fame is kind of waning, and he's a drunk. He just gets fucked up and just lives and like talks a to Dave Chappelle parties and shit, right? Dave Chappelle's in the movie. Dave yeah. Chappelle's in the movie. That he's he's funny. in it for like ten minutes, but he's he's in the movie. That's a good amount of um, movie. Yeah. So he That's he meets this chick in a bar because he's you know, he's fucking drinking and shit, and this chick is singing in a bar, and she's just like some regular chick. She works regular job, whatever, and she goes she sings she sings at this bar the weekend. And he sees her, and he's like, oh, my God. That, that's how he sounds. You know, Wait, he changes. How does he sound? Wait, imitate his voice. Oh, my God. My name's Jackson Mine. My name's Jackson Mine. You, you sing like an angel. Yeah. No, dude, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. He changed his voice for the movie, which is con kind of impressive. Like, he legit. <laughs> but that's a sucky accent. That's I, too far. No, no, no. It oh was good. Like, I didn't do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> but nah, That's nah. For he, band. No, for real though. Not to talk shit on Bradley Cooper, man. He he did a good job. Like he changed his voice to where he legit sounded like a country music motherfucker. Nah, I love that motherfucker. He's a good actor. He was he was he's good great. too. He yeah, was, he was really good in it. And he Lady Gaga was good in all that. She was good. I mean, you know, oh. she's, her acting is nowhere near like Bradley Cooper's, but she she's she, she's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Like she kind of she mostly keeps up with him, um, and it's cool because like he. He notices her singing, and he starts to like her. Well, he likes her singing, and he also likes the way she looks. And he wants to get with her and shit, right? Mm -hmm. So he gets with her, and then he starts to put her on. He's like, come and, like, come sing at one of my shows. I'm going to fly you out and shit. So she flies her out, and she starts singing at his shows. And, you know, people are like, oh, my God, she's on YouTube. She's famous now, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she starts to become famous. And she, like, she gets a manager, and she becomes really, really big. She, she wins, like, a Grammy and shit. And he just gets further into his alcohol addiction, and like people just stop giving a fuck about him. So Aww. people don't listen to his music anymore. That's actually that's a good plot. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the rest. You got you got to watch it. I spoiled it for myself. I know what happens. Oh, you, you did when? Yeah. But oh, he dies, right? Yes, <laughs> right, yes. I mean, <laughs> you guys, you guys just said it. So the ODs, I'll, right? Pretty I'll go much. ahead. It was like two years ago. I'll go ahead and I'll go it ahead. And spoil it. it gives a shit about Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I'll go, I'll go ahead and spoil it. So what happens is he, like I said, he he keeps going deeper into his addiction as mm -hmm. she becomes more famous. And, like, people don't really give a fuck about his career anymore, so he's losing steam there. So, eventually, he's, you know, he does everything. He takes pills, he drinks, he does all that shit. At one point, he takes, like, a lot of pills and he drinks the night of the Grammys. And she's winning her Grammy. And she wins a Grammy. And he's, like, sitting right next to her. And he's, like, so fucked up. He can barely keep his eyes open. Oh, and so she, they're still together. Yeah, they're still together. And he walks, oh. And she walks up to go get the Grammy. 
and he's like trying to walk on stage with her and he's like stumbling and falling and this is all like on camera and like in front of millions of people mm. and like he's fucking falling up the stage what a bum and then, I know what a fucking <laughs> bum bro fucking ruining my he moment gets, he gets on the stage he's like I love you you won I can't believe it oh my god I love you and he's just fucking drunk as shit and she's like holding him up and then he's like looks up like like a super drunk person, eyes half closed, and he starts peeing himself on the stage. Yo. And she's so embarrassed. She's like trying to cover him. You got to break up. After yeah, you gotta break af- up. got to break up. Afterwards, it pretty much just cuts to him being dead. Like, <laughs> no, like they, they almost fucking dead. They take him out and they fucking throw him hurt because her dad's there. Her dad grabs him and fucking tosses him in the, the shower, turns the water on, fucking slaps him around, wake him up. <laughs> Roughs him up a little bit. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, it cuts to like him in a fucking AA meeting and shit, and he's trying to get his life back together. And eventually he gets out of AA and she takes him back. She's like, you can come back home. Like, I still love you. Like, you did so much for me. And, you know, I still I still care about you. Yeah. She's a good, she's a good lady. Brings him back in. And she starts telling him, like, I want you to, like, come sing with me. Because, like, he's not famous anymore. He's lost his fame. He's, you know, he's nothing. Yeah. She, she's like, I want you to, like, come back out with me. Like, come perform on my show. We'll perform a song together. Because they've performed songs together before. And he's like, he's like, oh, okay, okay. I'll meet you there. So then he fucking, he's like, all right. She leaves. He starts to feel like really sad. I don't know fucking why. And he he goes up to the garage and he gets a belt and he fucking hangs himself. Are you fucking serious? In the garage. All right, bro. First and foremost. Why would he fucking hang himself though? Why did he take the bitch move out? Yeah, that sounds like a good movie. I'm it's not going to lie. That, it's a this great movie had a lot movie. more to unpack than I thought it did. I thought it was no, him singing and I thought he had a little bit of an addiction. But then he makes it back and he fucking they, they're, no, it's they're a like great a duo together movie. at the end. That's actually that's pretty dark. No, it's a great movie and honestly the songs are pretty good too. But I mean the behavior, man. All right, your girl's getting famous. Enjoy it. You're there with her. What are you yeah, so man. upset about? She's what still you with you. About? Enjoy it. So You're he's s- like he's like a sour guy the whole time. No, uh, I I wouldn't even say sour, but like I guess I would say he feels bad that he embarrassed her. One. And two, he feels like, I guess, a failure because his career is shit at this point. Cause but you had a career. But he had one. Yeah, and he was huge, huge, huge. So, I don't know. Get better, not bitter, dude. Exactly. Get, that's, that's a hang yourself, man. That's a, that's, a, that's a good one, man. That's going to be the title of this episode. Get, get better, better, not bitter. Not bitter. Bro, that, I love that. That motto, I use that shit a lot in life. I love that motto. Get, get better, better, not bitter, bitter man. People who get bitter. bitter, they fucking... I feel like you you just drive yourself into this hole where, where you don't really move forward. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's a shithole too. Your girl is up, bro. You peed on stage, and she, and she still took with you back. You. I mean, that's, I mean, that's a that's a down that's a ass bag. that's a down ass bitch. That's you won the lottery, bro. man. It's people like that where I'm like, if I was in that situation, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> if I was me right there, I would never do that. I would never. I would never do that to you, Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> never do that to you, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga. I would never do that to you. You understand me? <laughs> no, but that's fucking nuts, man. Like. I don't know, dude. That, that's a that's a bad suicide. That's oh, a bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, a bad the, suicide. The whole time I kind of like, fucked it up at the end. I was like, is he really gonna kill himself? I mean, he just came back. You know, he's making amends with his fucking with different people and like things with his wife seem to be okay. She took him back. She's happy that he's home. She doesn't give a fuck that he almost destroyed her career, right? <laughs> and I bet they build it up like he's like sad violin music. And he's walking to the fucking garage with the belt. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, how, I, I mean, how's what they play with fucking yeah. dudes, dudes I, I honestly music? I don't think there was music. I think he was just walking. To the, it was just like silent. It was just him opening the garage. You hear the sound of the garage, and the sound of the garage closed. You don't actually see him hang himself. Sheesh, but man. you hear it. No, you don't hear him hang himself either. You pretty much just see it cuts to like red and blue lights on the house, the reflection. Oh, of the okay. Oh. And then like her like playing the piano sadly the next day. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, how do you even hang yourself with the belt? That's tough. That's a, in a garage. That's a tough one. Nobody put that on. That's a strong ass fucking <laughs> uh, the little garage. You probably got to have some. Uh, you know, some people's it's like a long a, belt. Older homes they have like like the garage have like uh, what do you call it rafters. Mm. So you just hang yourself on one Bro. of those. But that's Speaking a, that's a belt, of man. wild movies, I watched another movie with Bradley Cooper in it uh, called Licorice Pizza. That's I've seen that movie too. That movie, heard it's a little toughy. Was the weirdest fucking movie I ever. It's seen a in my life. weird. I like that director, but to me, that's one of his strangest movies because it's, it doesn't. I mean, I it, guess there's it kind nothing of has a going story. On. There's nothing really going on. Like it's just vibe. There's this a little age gap too. Twenty five to fifteen. Now that's. But they're not really. But in real life, they're both you know of age or whatever. Yeah. In the, in the fucking, in the no, movie, I think she's twenty eight. Yeah, I think at the time. But no, they're both legal. That's what I'm saying. They're both no, legal. In, no, yeah. In, the, in real life, they're legal. But I'm yeah. saying like in the movie, I think she's twenty eight and he's fifteen. No, I think she's tw- she's twenty five. Because there's a scene with Bradley Cooper and she's like, yeah, I'm twenty eight. 
Or maybe she was lying. But she's 25 no, she, yeah, at she's least. She's 25 in the movie. Yeah. Is it based on an actual story? No. Sort of, yeah. But like two, nah, it nah, like two celebrities or story. something like that? Like, no, the guy, the kid is a is based off a celebrity. The girl, I don't think so. The girl is just like for the movie. Yeah, well, like, the, basically the story of Licorice Pizza is like there's this kid celebrity. Uh, he acts in like movies and shit. And... He you keeps know, like starting businesses. He keeps starting businesses, and the whole movie is like him starting these businesses, and like his friends helping him, and like yeah. this chick becomes friends with him, and he keeps trying to like, he keeps trying to bang her, and she's like, "Dude, I'm fucking 25. You're 15. What are you doing?" But she keeps putting it out. And there. she keeps, yeah, she keeps putting the vibes out there. But then she like she cuckolds, not cuckolds, what's it not cuckolds? Well, she cuckolds. like freezes him out. She's like, yeah. "Nah, nah, nah. Like we friend can't do zones it." Him friend zones him. Yeah. And, but like she keeps putting vibes out she there. She literally showed him her titties. Exactly. <laughs> No, and, but then listen, on. you know what you're doing. At one point in the movie, she girl. she sees him hooking up with a chick. She gets she gets so salty. She gets so jealous. Why did they have to make her 25 or 28? Even be, worse. So I was watching the thing. And he was like, "Yeah, this is what movies were like back in when I loved movies or some shit like that." And I was like, "Yeah, but that was the problem, brother. That's why would you say that?" <laughs> it was crazy. But, but thinking of even and worse man, but the old movies. It. But think about it. When the guy is 15, the girl's 28. Is it really an issue? I think so. What? 15 to 28? If you're, if you're, shut up. If you're that guy. As a guy? No, oh, shut your mouth. If you're that guy, guy, are you sure. going to tell me you're going to complain? No. No, you're going to take year that 20-year-old. Old, no, as a guy, not be I'm, talking to me. As a guy, I'm rooting for him. As a guy, I'm rooting exactly. for him. Right? As a 15-year-old, I'm rooting for him. I'm exactly. always rooting for him. I'm always rooting for him. But, but a, from an the, outsider's perspective, that's strange, man. For I guess from an outsider's perspective, and also the other way around, it's much, much more creepy, and I would never advocate for that. How about right? this? Yeah. Right now, you're dating a sophomore girl. Oh, my that's fucking a, that's God. That's creepy as shit. That's, that's what I'm hard, saying. man. That's what I'm saying. The other way around, I don't advocate for it. Yeah. Either way around, I don't advocate for nah, it. Man. I think it's just because who we are. You think women do that? You think women are like, you get him, girl. You get that 25-year-old guy. You know, I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, if they're all 15 years old, yeah, they're all like, bro, date the older guy. a group of 15-year-old chicks. There's probably some of them that are hooking up with 20-something-year-old dudes. Yeah. Which is fucking disgusting, but it probably yeah. happens, right? And you got to be a, a real creepy 25-year-old 20, dude to go for a 15 Oh, creep. And there's a lot but of creepy motherfuckers say, like let's that. Let's say there was a nice 25-year-old guy who treated this girl like a lady. <laughs> You still mature for your age. Stop more in high school. So Hell no, bro. I mean, is it? it's wrong. It's wrong. It's bro. disgusting. No. If I had to think of a girl... From like lunch, like her fucking school lunch during her school lunch hour. That's ridiculous. You dating her for three years? She's in high school, bro. <laughs> that's bro, that's crazy. crazy. Still in high school. Year to see, to fucking you, go to her graduation. You can't even go to 29. prom with her. <laughs> like it's illegal for you to go to prom with her. They'll call the cops on you. They'll call the, They'll cops. Call the cops. You show up in a tuxedo. They're gonna call the cops on you, dude. Get out of here. What's Get wrong his old you? ass out of here. Is your the dad? Fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Why is he trying to smuggle liquor in here? <laughs> Why is he trying to smuggle? He bought liquor for all the kids and shit. <laughs> hey, but think about what advantage you would have, right? You pull up all the liquor. <laughs> you got it, man. That's You're why Matthew cool. McConaughey loved it, man. Yeah. You're the cool 28-year-old at prom. <laughs> <laughs> no, 28's too far. That's man. crazy. They should have made it 15 She was 25. 20. She was 25. She was 25. Okay. 15 and 20, bro. 15 and 20. Cut nah, her down man. five I, years. I think, I think it was good her being 25 because I feel like it showed that, like, she was still immature. Yeah. Right? But, like, she thought she was more mature than him. Because she would, like, tell him sometimes during the movie, like, you're immature. Or, like, she would, like, make allusions to him being immature. Yeah. But, like, she was very immature herself. Just because she was 25 didn't make her any more mature than... I think that's what he was trying to say, but it's like... Exactly. Which was which was his justification for, like, that's exactly how we should hook up, baby. <laughs> but, she, but, you know, she wasn't falling for that. She wasn't fucked at the end, right? Um, no. They just, no, they they just, just become just, girlfriend and boyfriend. Yeah. But, I mean, I assume... That entails some kind fuck of fucking. Yeah, he's gonna fuck and pretty quick. There was a moment where they're laying down in bed and like she's like face up and like you can see like I think her nipples through her shirt and he's like about to grab him and he's like, Nah, I shouldn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't. Just and that's as fire. sexy as it gets in the movie. That's all. Yeah, the, it isn't, the movie's not really dirty like. Yeah, that. it's not dirty. So they don't kiss. No, I think they kiss once at the end. Yeah, at the end. Once or twice at the end. All right. Well, that's a. L- well, that's not as bad then. But, but the whole movie, little... you the whole movie, you're like, bro, they're going to get together. Yeah, but random and, and things you know happen. It's like edging. But you know it, it's, it's such a strange movie though. At like one point, Sean Penn pulls up on a motorcycle and he <laughs> fucking jumps. They put they make like makeshift ramps and he just jumps over like this fucking huge ravine and a makeshift ramp. Yes, and then he just drives away. And <laughs> That's I'm like, like, oh no, he doesn't drive away. Doesn't he fucking? He falls he off falls the motorcycle. And he gets injured. Was no, he just ride? gets up and takes a shot. <laughs> He's like, whoa! He starts screaming. Isn't and the fire cool? department runs up to put the fire out. What an insane movie. 
<laughs> I can't and even then believe. Bradley Cooper's in it. He's like, I have a sex addiction. And he keeps trying to fuck every woman he, played he sees. A re- he played a real dude, though. What the yeah. fuck is this? He played Barbara Streisand's, Barbara Streisand's uh, real husband. Yeah, her What's husband. What's the movie about, bro? It's, it's about nothing. <laughs> Barbara it's Streisand's a- husband is in the movie? Yeah, what, man. It's a strange it? movie, bro. I guess he's like a kid actor, right? So he's, that's how he knows these people, I'm guessing. Who? No, Barbara not. Streisand's, I had Barbara Streisand's husband in it. Well, he was trying to sell him a, a, a waterbed. And so oh. he puts the waterbed in his house and he tries to flood his house. What's director's Yeah, he tries to sell him a waterbed. And they're pulling up to his house, and he's like, "Listen, don't you do anything fucking crazy at my house." He's just shit talking the kids. Like yeah. as soon as they pull up, because he's like, "He's like, I gotta go." But while you're in my house, you better not do anything fucking crazy, or I'll kill you. I'm not leaving no damn kids in my house. You left them motherfuckers. You left in them that motherfuckers house. in the house with a waterbed. Yeah, with <laughs> yes. a waterbed. And bro. then they pulled the hose out. They tried to flood his shit. Hold yeah, on, I would love a waterbed. A oh, waterbed man. seems like such Fuck a no. cool ass. They look thing nice, but they probably weigh so fucking much. They're probably so hard to get around on too. Oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, Ridiculous. trying to sit at the edge of your waterbed and watch a show. Imagine <laughs> 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 just fucking, fucking <laughs> moving around and shit. No, those 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 didn't last. But how do you think, think sleep, pops? But how do you think sleeping on them is? Great. It's got to be. It's got to be fine. Yeah, it's got to be a good time. Beds are not built the way they should be built. No, they're not very comfortable, man. The way you sleep, there needs to be indents, and I know why they make it flat so you could, you know, for for all purpose, but still. For all purpose. (laughs) It needs a nice little indent. Any weather. (laughs) Nail sneeter, skeeter snow. (laughs) (laughs) Skeeter (laughs) snow. Skeeter snow. Yeah, yeah, it needs a little dick indent, you know what I mean? It needs a little dick indent, yeah. Or like a little on the side, bro, like a little Coke bottle (laughs) shape, you know? (laughs) Just to lay down on your side with. A little <laughs> arm space for you to put your arm under your pillow. Get to sit like that. Come on, dude. If I had a house, I'd for sure get a waterbed. Yeah, and I'm for waking up with sure. a dead arm. I'm getting this, and, that, and I'll keep that one outside just in case anything happens to it. Just in case it pops, it'll just fucking end up on the concrete. You gotta have another one in the garage. Gotta, yeah, I got three of them around the house. <laughs> I mean, they look for they're them. They're expensive. They're like thousands of dollars. Do you oh know yeah. That? Oh, I believe that. Yeah. I, well, why actually? It's just fucking water. I, I think well, it's because it's the shit it's, that holds it. it was, yeah, what it's made out of. It has to be durable enough to hold the water that long. You got to have a good base. Yeah. You think it gets it? gross, the water in there? I'm sure they have to replace it at some point. Well, yeah, yeah but bro. it's not exposed to air or anything, so it should be fine. Changing my bed out. Just take your bed <laughs> out. I got I to gotta drain my bed. <laughs> I got to drain, drain my bed. My bed. <laughs> Fill it back up. So I'm going to hose. Just put the hose uh, water in your bed. <laughs> What water are they putting in there? They're putting hose water in there. I'm <laughs> pretty sure it's just hose water. <laughs> you know, Rain water from outside. Yeah, it's fucking. Uh, we bought like 20 cases of water. <laughs> We're just gonna squeeze them in here <laughs> until it's full. Oh man, that's gonna have to end on fucking water beds. Man. Fucking water beds, guys. Oh my Who's God. got them? Right, thanks, guys. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.